Hello. Hey <laughs> Back again for Strength Day. Hope you guys are excited. We're gonna need a few pieces of equipment, and don't forget, we also have that twi- twelve minute twelve twi- 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 finisher. <laughs> twelve minute finisher. <laughs> If only. Okay, th- um, we are actually setting the tone for the entire workout. Enjoy your life. Finisher, lit legs. <laughs> All right? Blah, so your blah, legs blah. will be on freaking fire after yes. those 12 minutes. Oh my God, I can't so wait. don't go anywhere after we do that main set. So setup is still the same. 30 seconds. She means business. <laughs> 30 seconds, continuous movements through the dy- dynamic <laughs> warm up. See, my brain doesn't catch up with my mouth, or is it the other way around? I don't know. You're just living your best life. So either way, it's not happening. And then <laughs> 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest for that main body of the workout, and then two laps through the 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Where we're going to light off. it up. We're going to light up those legs. Yeah, we are. Light it up. Let's do it. That's why we have these shiny pants on. So you can really They're see. They're flame resistant. So <laughs> when they light, fire retardant. <laughs> Flame resistance? Flame resistance. Yeah, that works. All right. Okay. We're going to light it up. We're going to get right into that warm up. We're going to start slow with our neck mobility. So let's go ahead and take the right ear to the right shoulder, roll the neck from one side to the other, mm-hmm. really letting go of any tension that might be carried in the neck. We tend tension. to hike our shoulders. What do you mean? Oh, we're just getting tension rid of the tension. Here. We're easing the tension. Oh, so I can't see the good. can't see the timer, so it's on no, you. No, I'm not even looking at the timer. <laughs> Fuck the timer. It's on you, boo boo. All right, it's over. And two. And one. One. Oh my god, that right, felt next. so good. Okay, hands out to side, T stand. Then we're gonna turn it into a rotation, touching that right hand down to left toe. There we go. So a nice big rotation through the thoracic. Try and keep that hand up. And you can follow that top hand with your eye. Depending on your mobility, you can always walk your legs a little bit wider just so you can keep those legs fairly straight, okay? If you're more mobile, you can probably have them closer together and still maintain straight legs and a flat back. Switch it up. Classic. Step out to that right. And then we're going to pivot. Turn over that right leg side. So whatever leg is out. Oh, hello. That's the side we're turning to. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, darling. Okay, I hope you guys are excited for today. All jokes aside, we had a bad case of the sillies as we started this workout. That just means that we're enjoying our life. So I hope that you are ready to work. (laughs) You know how we love our strength days. They are one of my favorites. Okay. Bring it down. Bringing it down to the ground. Nice wide stance. So on to heel and then pushing those hip backs, just hips back. To stretch it. <laughs> you talk real good today. I'm just not going to talk today. <laughs> you talk real good it's today. It's a talky day. <laughs> so we're dynamically moving forward and back. So we're going to drop that back knee and sit deep onto the heels to stretch out the hamstrings of that front leg. And then we're reaching forward, extending through the hip flexors of that back leg. Okay, let's switch sides. switch sides. Forward and back. If you have hardwood floors like we do, and this is not too feeling too pretty on your knees, you can always roll up a towel or your mat and stick it under there. Ooh. You guys pay attention here, what's happening in your body. Pay attention to what's super tight. Your sides might vary, so right to left, and then also back to front. Last one, come on up. And then we are squatting, touching down to the ground. This will be the quickest that we move all day. We're focusing more on form and reps than speed here. All day, all day. Well, who knows what you do in your spare time. I was going to say. But we're dropping our weight down. So you guys on strength day, don't be afraid to get in those long walks. Some active recovery always helps. Bring the blood to the muscles. Last one. Help them recoup. All right. Okay. So we're going to come up to our toes for a calf raise and then extend the leg forward. Reach for that leg. Okay. You can always hit the knee. You can't reach those toes. Up. <laughs> Next up, we have. Who do you my think favorite. you are? Why are you laughing? 
I can't say. <laughs> I can't say on camera. <laughs> I can't say. All right. Okay. Shoulders. So you can do one shoulder and then one arm. Switch it to the front. Reverse it again. Oh, it feels so good. This is a warm up, guys. So, so good. Try and release the tension and just warm it up. What tension? <laughs> Not right. <this> tension. <laughs> but it really does feel so good to move your body. And I also, I'm always tempted to like make that part portion longer just so I can fully be ready for the work. Speaking of work, grab those dumbbells. Oh, you need dumbbells, stability ball and core bands, body bands. So we have a single arm alternating. alternating clean into an overhead press. So you guys can alternate, so like this, right, left, or you can bang it out on that right side for one set, and then one on the left side, and then alternate for that last set. I'm totally overloading the right arm already, so I'm just gonna stay here. So you'll notice, last one, We'll slow it down for a second. When we come down into that squat, we're hinging at the hip, okay? All the weight's in the heels. I'm gonna keep that weight close to my chest and then flick the wrist, like if we're trying to throw it through the ceiling. Okay, we're back in three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. Keep it nice and close. Like if you're shaving your chest. <laughs> That's what I was giggling about. <laughs> Why can't you say that? We said much worse. I know, but I don't want anyone at home to think I shave my chest. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, God. I'm not that hairy, to be honest. So it's the weirdest place I shave is like the JJ. It's not even weird. It's normal. I don't have any hair on my arms or on my legs. You don't have so any it's like, hair? No. Remember we had this conversation? It's just the pitters so and the JJ, And a little bit in the back. <laughs> a little bit in the back. And my eyebrows, of course. <laughs> okay, so this you one we're going to split, split in two. You? I, I don't shave my eyebrows. You just said dry I draw them. them in. Oh, yeah. There's hardly anything there. <laughs> like, Tammy at the beginning of a workout and Tammy at the end of a workout. Two different people. <laughs> The beauty of it is I can change my emotion daily. I can be mad, happy, sad. I want to see angry oh, Tammy. All oh, with the, the shirt shirt line. <laughs> Our curious Tammy. The line just. <laughs> oh my. God, that's good. Oh my God. All I can't right, even. What's next? Are we here to work out or what? Yeah. Turkish get up. Turkish get up. Only a happy. Half one. <laughs> no, I need a half Turkish get up. Okay. Okay. So full extension. Oh, that's too close. She won't hurt money her money maker. She might drop it on mine though. Up to the elbow. I won't drop Pant, it on palm you. down. Keeping that dumbbell up. And then reverse it the same way. So crunch up, up to palm. Push through those hips. Bring the belly button up. Back down. Really control. You don't have to rush this. I just wanna caught myself. Gaze should be at the dumbbell. Yeah, and you want to keep that dumbbell directly above your shoulder, okay? I'm going to switch sides. So remember the leg that's extended. The opposite hand is housing the dumbbell, okay? We're on in two. One, push to come up to the forearms. We're going to plant that hand as we lift our hips up. Keep your gaze up at the dumbbells. Control all the way up and all the way down. Big exhale, push. Stack got a step. and lift. Keep those eyes up. Keep your eyes on the prize. There we go. Nice and controlled. Five seconds. I have my curious eyebrows on right now. <laughs> Just use stickers. Oh my god. I, I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about that now. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll just put like I mean like lines. I have eyebrows. You totally They're do. They're just like really like light. I don't know. Got you. I don't know. Okay, we're splitting it up. Half and half. Okay, I'm gonna stay on this side for 15 seconds. Big exhale. 
stack it. And even as you come up to the half get up, your supporting hand, you wanna make sure that that stays directly below your shoulders. Actively pushing through the whole palm. And let's switch. You guys can obviously do this with the kettlebell. With control, with control, down. That's the hardest part, control on the way down while maintaining that dumbbell. Right? Right? Okay, what do we got next? Okay, we need both our dumbbells and we need our stability ball. This is gonna take a couple seconds to get on. So hustle, hustle, hustle. Grab your ball. Hustle. We're gonna sit on the ball, then reach for your weights. Then let's walk our bodies all the way out, supporting your back. We're gonna get the weights together, okay? As we lower back. down towards the chest, extend the weights up and then slowly bend the elbows like if you're trying to clock yourself in the forehead with the top of the dumbbells. Oh my gosh. Don't clock yourself so across the head. Okay, so keep those elbows nice and close to the body. With control, lower down, send them up, and then bend the elbow. Okay, so you can stay out here if you'd like or walk your body in, whatever feels the most comfortable. Because you have weight on that stability ball, I want you to be really mindful of placing your weights down before you try to get off the ball. Okay, two and one. Pick your weights up, let's go. Weights together, lower down, skull crushers. <sighs> nice. So you should feel that part where we're bending at the elbow, that second part, the skull crusher. You should feel it in your tricep. So right here, you can always isolate, or if you've chosen dumbbells that are too big, just use one. Come up. Like if you're nice a size narrow. queen. Sorry. If you're a size queen and you went for the big dumbbell. That's right. <laughs> size queen. Okay, we have one size more of those. Queen. Size never queen. You've never heard size queen? No. Oh my god, my mind is blown. I would have my brain would have gone somewhere else. Here we go. Two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have heard it. No. Really? Really? You've never heard the word size Listen, queen. I don't get out much, all right? Jeez. I've never said size queen in front of you? No. I'm pretty sure I have. It's such a fun word. Keep it up, guys. Ah. Five seconds. Well, it's two words. Unless it's not, is it one word? I have no idea. Urban Dictionary, that shit. <laughs> Listen, you teach me everything I need to know. <laughs> Three, two, ah! Okay. Balls down. Okay. We're gonna keep the ball though. Don't get rid of it. Don't get rid of it. We can get rid of the dumbbells. Reach for your core bands real quick, okay? Nice and quick. And we're gonna take those core bands just above the knees. Okay, next, we are gonna walk our bodies out over the ball, okay? Bring your forearms to the ground, extend the hips up, keep pushing outward on the band. If the forearm isn't working for you, you can always come up to your hands, and extend the legs up and back as you bend the elbows. Keep pushing your pubic bone down into the ball. Yes. Oh, sweet heavenly father. There's the show. Push. That's what you people pay for. That band outward. Push <laughs> the legs outward as we send the band wide. Okay. Sammy, I don't know what was happening back there. What? But. With my glutes on fire? I wasn't having as much fun. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? I think it, it was working. It's Here clearly working. Here we go. Let's do it again. Let's see what she's talking about, shall we? There we go. Is it working, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> so you want to keep tension on that band as you come up. I feel like that's the word of the day today. If it was Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse, it'd be like tension. Whoa! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Eight seconds. Keep the tension. Don't ease the tension. Oh, three, two, and one. P.S. Guys, I love this one. We get a lot of comments like, "Oh my God, you guys are making me laugh." Be careful out there, folks. You can drop weights when you laugh. <laughs> don't, right. don't drop I'm weights on the money maker. No, but we're so like, those are the comments I like receiving the most. We're glad you guys are having some fun. Tap your feet down, fun lift and games. separate. Lift and separate, glutes on fire. Woo! 
how do you know it's working? Oh, you'll know. You'll, <laughs> you'll know. know. Oh, okay. 13 seconds here. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, beautiful. Last three, two, and one. My glutes are literally that is taking best. on a life of their own. They are like pulsating right now. That is the best. It feels good. <laughs> it feels good. Okay. Ah, now. Time push up. We worked the bottom. Now we're going to work the top, guys. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. I had to. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's walk our bodies out over that ball. Okay. Nice and far. And then we are dropping down for a push up. So that ball below your knee, below your shins, below your feet, wherever feels good. That's going to cause a lot of instability, which forces your core to work so much harder to stabilize you. When you lower down into your push up, you want your elbows no more than 35 degrees away from your body, like arrowheads. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. All Ooh. right. So you guys, if you're finding this really tough, again, use an ottoman, use a chair. Just make sure the tops of those feet and the bottom of the legs are comfy, but add stability. Wee! <laughs> do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just won't do that. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Don't be scared. Yeah, and you might need to play with where that ball goes. You gotta play with it a little bit to find the sweet spot. Oh, this is a lot. Inhale, big exhale, push. Of push ups. So, feel free to take a break if you need it. Oh, you warriors, add the vest. Okay, one we've got set. one more of those. I noticed right there how badly I need a pedicure. Manicure. Pa yeah, manicure. Probably manicure, a pedicure yeah. too. Let's be honest. I'm noticing that something really exciting happened here once upon a time because there's <laughs> glitter in the cracks. There's so much glitter. There's okay. Like beads and glitter. It's like Mardi There's Gras. so many one-liners that we can take from this. There's glitters in the cracks. Oh, God. <laughs> something, oh my God, something that's fun. Great. Something that's fun once happened here. Right there, glitter right? in the cracks. Something fun once happened here. There's glitter in the cracks. <sighs> Remember fun things? Fun things. Oh, okay. Keep the back of that head up in line with your spine. All fun and games till you whack your head on the ground. Four, three, two. Beautiful. Nice. Good All job. right. If you guys did that, that's Woo! awesome. Ravishing Rick Rude. <laughs> Channeling my inner wrestler. No, Ravishing Woo! Rick Rude. Is it Rick this Rude? Or? <laughs> and I have the pants on. <laughs> Remember when he put loads of me? Oh my God. I can die now. <laughs> I can <laughs> die now. <laughs> A happy right. woman. Okay, why did I get rid of my ball? ball? I was so focused on your ravishing Rick Rude. <laughs> that was amazing. What are you, a million dollar man, the woo? Oh, Who does that? No, that was ravishing was Rick Rude. Okay, sitting oh, nice and high on your ball. Rick Flair. Rick Flair I was yes. him for Halloween one year. Really? Yeah, I still have the pants. <laughs> why aren't we wearing them? Oh I'm my sure gosh. we will. <laughs> we must have the entire set. fucking set. We're sorry. Oh, nice. Focus. Focus. Okay, so okay. <laughs> coming into a hammerhead curl, bringing those dumbbells up towards your and shoulders, three, dropping two. it down in one, and then raising laterally, okay? So I want you to focus more on a weight that works well for that lateral raise than for the hammerhead curl. Because you might find that you can curl a lot more than you can raise laterally, and I don't want you to load those shoulders, especially if you're nursing an injury, okay? We'll just focus. 12 seconds. And I think, oh, there we go. You sound like a nurse. Ah! I sound like a nurse. Someone that's about to have a baby. There we go. Come on. Push. <laughs> One more push. One more push. My nurse said, it's too late for that, sweetheart. <laughs> it's, no. it's too late for that, sweetheart. Okay, here we go. Boat. Ooh. Uh. 
Okay, so the tendency here is to hike the shoulders up. We all do it. I'm so trap dominant myself. I carry all my load there. Okay, so trap. She's saying when she's trap dominant, right here. Right? Most people are like trying to build it. I'm trying to decrease it. I'm not actually trying to decrease it, but I'm trying to take the energy out spread of it, it and spread the love. <sighs> Curl it up. One more and take it down. Beautiful work. We're sorry we made you miss your first rep. You can do it now if you'd like. Okay. <laughs> do it. Do it. We're going to keep that stability ball. We're going to start early on this one so we don't fuck it up. One hand comes onto the ball, and I want you to kick back the leg of the corresponding hand that's on the ball, and the other hand is just rowing, okay? Now, as we row, I want you to think of keeping your elbows as close to the body as you can. I want you to think of keeping your back nice and flat. And even though you're not working it, try to resist the temptation to let your belly hang onto your thighs. Do not let the belly go onto your thighs. Okay? Belly onto thighs. Onto thighs. No, 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 no. No belly on thighs. Big exhale, pull. Inhale and exhale. And you'll notice I'm lowering down nice and slowly, controlled. I'm not letting my weight fly around. Okay, we're gonna take it over to the other side. Oh, in five seconds, guys. So we're opening up that side, keeping stable on the left side for us, for example, and then opening up that side where you're drawing the weight up. The work side. The work side. So there is so much stability required here. Okay. Row, 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 row. So that elbow should be, and the weight should be ending up pretty close to the rib cage. Driving that elbow back. Control on the way down. Lots of stabilization in that front foot. Okay, fitty, fitty. Switch sides. Fitty, fitty. Fitty, fitty. Okay, eight seconds. We're gonna do half time on the right, half time on the left. So you're gonna have to listen for our cue to switch it up. Let's work Here right now. Go. Here we go. <sighs> row, row, row your boat. <sighs> Pull with that back body. <sighs> and let's switch, nice and quick. <sighs> Is that legit or was that put on? What? That, uh. It was a legit, uh. Do you fake your grunts? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Tricep kickback. Oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Kick back right, kick back left. So we're going to do that same positioning, that one side. Because we like that positioning. Grounded. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Okay, so it. row, kick it back. Are we going forward? I'll go side. Here we go. Now, once you have that position, stay there. Your elbow is lifted slightly higher than your torso, and you'll notice the tendency here is to want to roll your shoulders forward. Don't let it happen, okay? Keep that chest nice and wide. Lots of activity happening. You're trying to stabilize through the hand that's on the ball. Your core is trying to stabilize. Oh, feel it. I feel it. Two, one. Last one. one. Woo. All right, so that's why we tell you to have a couple sets of dumbbells. If you have the pink thing, you could also do this with the pink thing, yeah? Yeah. Just use your foot to ground it and then kick, kick it, it back. back. Two, one, let's go. So row, find that position, kick it back. Woo. No. no, I'm no. like, I'm the biggest grunter, the biggest grunter. Oh God. No, no, come on. Seriously, I no, mean, I when, I, when I'm working out, I feel like when I get to the point where I can't push anymore, letting out a couple bear-like growls helps me get a couple extra reps in. You know what it is? I feel like at the gym, everyone has their pods in. Yeah, their headphones in. Here at home, like... Probably grunting less than we usually do. Oh, I'm still grunting the same amount. Oh. <laughs> still grunting. I, I like it. I How like it. How much do you grunt? <laughs> oh. 
All right, guys, half side, pretty fitty, like she said. Oh, okay. Stick it. Keep going, keep going, keep Don't going. Drop. Last one. Switch sides. Switch it up. Quick, quick, quick. No time to waste. You guys will feel this tomorrow. If you're using the right weight, uh, you'll feel this the next day. Try not to fling your weight around, but really use the tricep to lift and lower for Last three, one. two, one more. One more. Oh, oh. in real life, we often don't just isolate that tricep. So you'll generally feel it if we do that to you. The next day. Woo, okay. Right. Sweat in my All right, eye. guys, potty potty, lit legs coming up. 12 minutes, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. You ready? Two laps around. Thank you. 